Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prompt Engineering. In last few sessions, we saw how to create a prompt which makes more sense to the API or rather to GPT or BARD or uh, Gronk, whatever you're using, right? How to write specific prompts. Today, we are going to learn same thing, prompt engineering, but we will do it using Python. Okay, we'll write a small, simple Python code in which we will call the API. Now, notice that this is the latest form of the API or the latest version of the API. The earlier one, the creation model is de deprecated as no and is no longer working. So if you're using the latest um, mm, chat GPT or GPT API, this is the code that this is how you will code it. Okay, so very simple. Uh, you will have to import uh, using pip install. You have to uh, install OpenAI package. It's very simple. The simple command is pip install OpenAI. It'll install the API. Oh, of course, you'll need Python 3 first. So first step, Python, then OpenAI. And you will also need to create an account in OpenAI. It's a paid account, okay? Unless you have a student or something, some free credits from somewhere. From there, copy your API key, OpenAI API key, set it as an environment variable, okay? Set it as an environment variable, and then just that's it, you can use it. So first, download Python, then, install OpenAI library using pip, pip install OpenAI. Copy the API key, set it as an environment variable, and then you're good to go, okay? Other than that, there's nothing much to the program. So you have an OpenAI client, dot chat, dot completions, dot create. So what are you creating? A prompt, which results in stream. So you specify which model. There are different models. Again, you got to go to check the website and see, do not use deprecated models. So GPT 3.5 Turbo is one of the latest model. And so you will write the message. So your, the, your role is user, the content. So any, this is the actual prompt, okay? So I'm just giving, giving you an example. Write a 100 word write-up on solar eclipse. Okay, it's simple, just any prompt, right? We were giving. Now you are going to stream it. These two are important parameters, temperature and max token, which I'm gonna explain it to you in a minute, in the next slide. This, you're just taking the chunks from the stream and printing it out, okay? So it returns an array of choices, zero, and then you print it out. Okay, so it returns an array of choices. From that, you get delta, you get content, and then you print the content, okay? What is temperature? So among the other parameters, temperature and max tokens are very important. Of course, model is the most important, which model you want to use, GPT-3, GPT-4, uh, Text Da Vinci, which one you want to use. What is temperature? Temperature, by specifying this value, you are giving a hint to GPT, like how much guesswork it can do. If it is close to zero, the model will produce very deterministic results, very conservative output, like it will not do many guessworks. It will try not to think too much on its own. What is the disadvantage of it? The disadvantage is the responses for the same questions get repetitive because it cannot it cannot think on its own or it cannot uh, do a guesswork. A higher temperature value will give more freedom, more flexibility to the model to generate the response. But at the same time, it could also be possible that it's not 100% correct. So you got to choose somewhere in between is the best, like five or six. 
that's the ideal value of the temperature. Max tokens, since it's a paid service and you do not want to run out of your money or of your credits, you specify maximum number of tokens that the response or the should that the response should contain or the API should generate. Okay, what is the max number of tokens? Now, tokens is not the same as words. Okay, one token does not equal one word. One token could be one whole word, sub word, like part of a word or just simply stream of characters. So it uses some tokenizer and based on that, the tokens are generated. You are charged also on based on tokens. So you can specify max tokens. So when the number of tokens reached is 50, the model will stop generating tokens if it has produced 50 tokens. Even if it's not finished generating the entire response, this is helpful if you want to stay within your budget, okay? And also, it, the model does not produce just long, long, long responses, okay? So that was it. Let's see in demo, okay? Let's go here. And I want to show you, we are generating some interview question. Come hmm. demo. Okay, so here is Python code. So what you first, what you're going to do is something called as pip install. I'll, I'll show you. Wait. Uh, this is the command. Oh God. Pip install uh, OpenAI. This is how. You, but before this, you need Python. Okay, and then how you will export the environment variable. Open AI underscore API underscore key equal to whatever the key value you copy from the website. Once you log in, you create an you create your account, you will get this. Now you got to store this key carefully. Okay, you have to store this key carefully because you will need it for every Python code through which you want to access the GPT API or if you want to invoke the API. Now see here. Same code. Now what I've done is I've just create a list of eight questions for an interview with an advanced level data analyst. So let's say I am an interviewer and I'm interviewing somebody for a data analyst position. I'm asking ChatGPT, create a list of eight questions. Now let's see what, what happens. Python. Prompt demo dot pr. Here. How do you approach cleaning and organization, uh, organizing large and messy data sets before beginning your analysis? Can you discuss a complex data analysis project that you have done? What are the programming language and tools that you use? Explain to me time when you encountered a particular challenging data set. How do you stay current in the latest advancement? Just a list of eight questions, okay, with the GPT generated. So very simple program, easy to use. You create a prompt, give it very specific. Now I've given advanced level data analyst eight questions. So it just gave some questions. So that is all about how you can um, program or uh, get a response using a Python API, okay, from a GPT or OpenAI. All right, thank you all for listening. Okay, so simple here. This is the latest version of the API. Uh, earlier ones were directly um, OpenAI dot. I think it was completion something, which is not no longer supported. It's deprecated. All right. Thank you all. This was just a small demo. So make sure you follow the steps and keep practicing. See you all again in the next session. All right. Until then, bye. Take care.